Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I'm super excited about today's video because we're gonna be visiting a restaurant that I've been meaning to visit for the longest time. Before we start, I wanna thank HKBA for sponsoring today's video. They're gonna be hosting a really exciting event in Sydney very shortly, and I'm gonna tell you all about it later in my video. But for now, we're gonna focus on getting to this restaurant. It's gonna be worth it. Okay, I cannot even contain my excitement. I don't know how I've never been before, but finally today, we're gonna go. Okay, I've just arrived at Cam's Roast Goose. It's won a Michelin star for eight consecutive years. I absolutely love Roast Goose, and I've been meaning to to find a place to eat it. So what I've got is, I have got their signature dish. This is a roast goose leg in soup noodles. It looks amazing. So I've ordered a set meal so that you also get a starter as well as, well as a drink. And it also comes with a plum sauce. So the noodles that I've got is a live fun, which in English is a round rice noodles. The roast goose is just absolutely glistening in the light. Look at this piece of beautiful, beautiful meat. Guys, this is delicious. This is rich and succulent and it's just full of flavor. The meat is also quite firm, but it's still quite juicy. That's possible. And when you pair it with that plum sauce, the sweets, a little bit sour it's amazing the thing with the round rice noodles is that i find it really difficult to pick up with my chopsticks so i'm kind of like scooping it into my mouth with a spoon. i can't really think of anything to fault it the skin is crisp and fragrant and the meat is succulent I wish I had better chopstick skills so that the noodles stopped slipping through my chopsticks. But other than that, my mum ordered a char siu rice and the char siu looks delicious. I'm gonna steal a piece right now. The char siu has got a good amount of fat to it. So it's still very succulent and it's very juicy. I think I might have to come back to this place again before I leave. If you're ever in Hong Kong, you absolutely, absolutely have to come to this place. So in terms of the cold dishes, we got the cucumber. This is like that cucumber salad that I made. If you want to check it out, you can watch it right here or here. Very appetizing, especially when it's really hot. All right, just done with my roast goose noodles. That was delicious. I am pretty sure that I will definitely be back. We came at a time that was outside of peak hour, so it's kind of in between lunch and dinner, what, that's, which is why there isn't a lot of people and we were able to get a seat pretty much straight away. And as always, I'll put the details of everything in my description. So, like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video, there's a really exciting event happening in Sydney called Experience Hong Kong. So if you've never been to Hong Kong, or if you're like me, you've been there too many times to count, this is your chance to experience the sights and sounds and tastes of Hong Kong while in Sydney. It's happening on the 27th of August on a Saturday at the Horton Pavilion in Moore Park and entry is completely free. There's going to be so many iconic Hong Kong foods, including some of my favorites like wonton noodle soup, Hong Kong style milk tea, ha gao, siu mai. There's also going to be a really cool infinity tunnel and Instagram photo walls and there are souvenirs and gifts for attendees. I've actually got some samples to show you. So this is a tote bag and inside are all the gifts and souvenirs that will be available on the day. I don't know if you can guess what this is, but this opens up to be a backpack. So I will link their website, Instagram and Facebook in my description. Check out their website for more information. And if you like and follow their Instagram and Facebook page, you'll automatically be eligible for free spring rolls and fairy floss on the day. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun day and I hope to see you there.
we are going to Sky 100 today and we're just about to go and redeem our tickets. The lift up here, my ears were popping. We're up on the 100th level of the tallest building in Hong Kong. Wow, wow, wow. There's more people here than I expected. And a lot of the buildings, they look like little, uh, little toys because we're so far up. So this place is 393 meters above sea level. And there's also something called a 5G lab. I have no idea what it is, but let's find out. All right, we're pretty much done with Sky 100. We're getting back down to ground. I hope my ears don't get too blocked while we go down 100 levels. We'll see. Oh, this is really heavy. It is currently T3 here in Hong Kong. What this means is there are different tiers of Typhoon. So there's T1, T3 and T8. So what this means is like the winds now are relatively strong, but it also means that it's not too hot. We're heading to lunch today, debating what to eat. I'm kind of leaning towards... Did you see that? <laughs> My umbrella nearly flipped. We're kind of leaning towards yum cha. But I'll see if I can convince my parents to go for that option as well. Hopefully there's not too many people lining up for yum cha today. We shall see. Okay, so this kettle right behind me, when you press a button, it automatically fills up with water and then it starts boiling the water. It's really, really cool. This is the countdown to filling it up. And then it turns to temperature. We've got spring rolls, we've got ham so we've got, we've got cha siu bao, we've got chicken feet. Okay, we are just done with yam cha. I think we're gonna go to the shops and see if there's anything in particular that we want to buy, that I want to buy. We are currently at Don Don Donkey and there is so much stuff to buy. So many different flavored chips, so many different lollies, all from Japan. They have sweet potato Kit Kats. Hi, I'll get up. I'll get pizza. Oh, oh, Salami cheese on dried fish at you like I Okay, I got that. Why I got that okay? So you did I it's not bad. Oh, this is mala. I don't know if you can hear, but they're playing sounds of cows and pigs in this area that's selling beef and pork. And then, and then in the chicken area, they're playing like sounds of roosters. Here. Has anyone tried this? This is um, black sugar umeshu. If you have, let me know what you think. 
Guys, you gotta check this out. Look at this. Yogurt flavored water. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Let's just put it back. We didn't end up buying anything, but it was nice to see like what was available. And being there, it felt like I was actually in Japan. Wow, it is currently Typhoon 8. But what I really want to do is I want to go to this place that does really, really good Chinese desserts. Hopefully they are still open because their tofu pudding, it's delicious. And they're pretty famous for it as well. Okay, I just got the tofu pudding. Usually I would eat it in store, but then it is Typhoon 8 right now, so I just want to get home as soon as possible. Okay, so I've got three different desserts for tonight. The one that I'm most excited about is the tofu pudding. So they make it fresh. As you saw, they poured it into this container. Usually they have a wooden container. And then you wait about three to five minutes and it just congeals and it's like a it's like it's in a pudding um, texture i've also got tong yun this is sesame tong yun and i've also got this is like a coconut sago dessert i'll put the description the proper description of everything here so in terms of the tofu pudding we've got this kind of ginger syrup and we've also got some sugar. Wow, this looks so smooth. So once they poured the soy milk mixture into this container, he kind of scooped out the bubbles. So this is very, very smooth. Super smooth. Wow, this is delicious. I mean, adjust how much syrup you want to put in depending on your preference for sweetness. I think we didn't need to add all the syrup into this, but here we are. It's smooth and it's got a strong soybean, soy milk flavor to it. All right, the second item that we have is a sesame tong yu. This is glutinous rice balls and then inside we have black sesame and it's in like a hot soup. This is like a hot ginger syrup soup. It's sweet, but not overwhelmingly so. And the, the kick of the ginger helps counteract that. We usually eat it during like Chinese New Year celebrations and whatnot because the word tong yun sounds very similar to tun yun, which is like togetherness. So this last one that we have is a coconut sago soup. As you can see, there is an abundance of sago in here. And also a very, very strong coconut milk flavor. I've gotten all hot desserts because currently it's Typhoon 8 and it is quite windy outside. But if it was like really, really hot, I'd probably go for something like a Yanzi Gum Lo and I'd get a cold tofu pudding as well. This place is very well known for their desserts, especially for their tofu pudding. So yeah. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I'd love to read it. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Thank you, no camera. Oh. <laughs>